it's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm gonna be snickering you tonight. I'm fame for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm gonna be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Davidson. To a brand new game show called Big Break, and this is my big break with the BBC. And if this don't work out, we're really snookered. <laughs> <laughs> so, just in case I forget the rules uh, of snooker, we've hired this funny man <laughs> to help me out on all the finer points. He's a great snooker player, John Virgo. <laughs> Not too bad. Come on, you must know some funny old snooker stories, didn't you? Well, a lot of the funny things that happen at snooker, people don't see, because mm. a lot of the snooker's recorded. I mean, when the people are watching it, half past 12, 1 o'clock at night, we're not playing then. Mm. Terry Griffiths and Cliff Thorburn are, but most of us... <laughs> <laughs> the old slow coach. Well, we see we've got some fast ones tonight. Are they all in here? They are. Yeah, OK, then. Let's go and have a look at the contestants who are waiting to make their big break. Come on! <laughs> Jill. Hello. Oh, Jill. Stand up a minute. Sit down a minute. <laughs> Where are you from, Jill? I'm from a village called Hampstall Ridware in Staffordshire, which is near Lichfield. Yeah, that's near Birmingham, isn't it? <laughs> I've got three snooker balls in there. <laughs> Each. Oh, I'd be worried then, right? There we are. <laughs> three snooker balls. Look at that. Looks like the little thing you get on the colour TV thing, doesn't it? Each one of these represents a famous snooker professional. Dip your hand in there, Jill. Oh, the yellow ball. She's pulled out the old yellow one, John. Well, one of the great advances in this game is to have a very quick potter, and you couldn't have picked anyone quicker. Mike Hallett. Mike Hallett. <laughs> How are you doing, Mike? Great, thanks. Married? Not yet. And then not anymore after that. <laughs> <laughs> In. So, how's your, how's your game, mate? OK, yeah, I'm playing OK at the moment. Well, I hope you do well. Our yellow team there, Mike and Jill, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Turn that shirt out. <laughs> Smashing old shirt there. It's a bit of I'm a boogie like shirt there. Whereabouts are you from, Mark? I'm from Pontefract in West Yorkshire. Do you like snooker? Love it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Who's yeah. your favourite player? Well, I've, I, uh, I feel that um, it'd be nice if Joe Johnson were around today. Right, there's two balls in here. Is one of these Joe Johnson? Do you want a red one or a blue? Would Joe be a blue or a red? What do you think? Try a red there, John. What have we got, mate? I well, it's make a wish time, Jim, because it is the 1986 world champion, Joe Johnson. <laughs> Joe Johnson! Where's your lift home there, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> I need after my trip down, believe it. <laughs> Mark and Joe, our red team, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Thank you. You're from Scotland? Yes, from what? Greenock. From where? Greenock. Oh, Greenock! That's a nice shape, Greenock, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Yeah, I, I don't do Scottish jokes. Good. Now, I don't. <laughs> no, no, my poor father, he died. Women and whiskey killed my father. Couldn't get either, so he shot himself. <laughs> Married? I am, yes. Been married to Paul for nine and a half years. How many children? Two, two daughters, Angela and Roisin. Ah, oh, give a little wave then. Which camera? That number three over there. Hello, Angela. Hello, Hello Roisin. Oh! Look at that, didn't I? Okay. Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Elizabeth, yes. we've only got a blue ball left. Well, John? It is number one snooker player in the world, Stephen Hendry! Yeah. be the Scotland team, you know, Elizabeth, eh? Never knew you looked. We're going Does he look different from, do you think? You look so different. <laughs> <laughs> He's sober. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, then.
then our blue team, ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth and Andrew. I say this. <laughs> I've given him every name under the sun this afternoon. He's going to ring my neck. Right, stay with us. Let's play our first game. It's called Red Hot. <laughs> Three questions each, OK? Each correct answer gets ten seconds of playing time for your partner. That's very important, that, because otherwise these boys have to be running around at warp nine <laughs> trying to pop. We're going to give you ten seconds free each, OK? Eyes down, look in. Jill. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know this one. What is sodium chloride better known as? Salt. Correct. Can you cook? No. Oh, that's her elbow, then. <laughs> <laughs> Which two words that sound the same answer these clues? Not moving and writing materials. Not moving and writing material. Writing material. Sort of, you Spell. buy it in a... <laughs> Set. Sex. Sex. <laughs> no, it's actually stationary. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Which of these is not a C? That's wave B C. <laughs> C, C. C? Which of these is not a C? Black, green, or yellow? Green. <sighs> Correct. <laughs> there you say it's not a <laughs> OK, John, explain to us the very complicated rules of Red Hot. Certainly, Jim. Ten reds on the table. Mike's got to pot as many balls as he can in 30 seconds after he's made his break. Yeah. Still none. <laughs> the next time you strike the cue ball, Mike, the clock will start. Okay. We're really rooting for you. Friends, we want you to win. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. He's got the holding stick out. <laughs> You're off the mark there, Jill. Mm. Two. She's already scored more than Devon Malcolm ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the cricket jokes. Still two. Ooh. Ten seconds to go. Three. Quickly. Five seconds, Mike. Four. Two. One. <laughs> Mike Hallett scores four. <laughs> it's amazing. They all go to the snooker table like this. And you see them coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult, Mike, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Yeah. Right, Mark. <laughs> First question. What is acetic acid better known as? Acetic acid? Vinegar. Correct! <laughs> we get some thickos on these phones. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mark. <laughs> okay. Be funny if I got it wrong, read it wrong, and there's all people like burning their mouths off on their chips of sulfuric acid. <laughs> Which two words that sound the same answer these clues? Make someone's acquaintance and animal's flesh. <laughs> Uh, sounds like... <laughs> Foot. <laughs> yeah, about that, the time's right. up. It's meat. Oh, meat. <laughs> you meet someone, you don't foot someone. Do you? <laughs> oh, please to foot you. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, mate. It, it, they go in the ball and we don't know which order they come out of. I'm sorry. <laughs> Virgo's fault. He said, we'll give old Johnson that thick bloke in the frock. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Mark, this is... Come on, then. You ready for this one? I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. What boy's name is found by taking initial letters, that's the first letter, of consecutive months? Is it Dan, Jason or Sam? So think of that. It's... July, August... Jason. Jason. Vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> started off as a nice quiz. It's turned into this now. I don't know. You've got 30 seconds there, Mr Johnson. Take the table. 
Well, you've got the same time as my card, but Clean you've got a beat face. for. Look at the set. Look at that. What's that? The white. Oh, it's a hair. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Thorne left this. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Thorne left that as his only one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Joe, make your break. <sighs> oh, now, that's a break. They're running at Ascot. <laughs> the clock will start the next time you strike the cue ball. I'm getting out of the way, he's gone hitting that hard. <laughs> One. Terry Griffiths did that, he played a snooker as well. <laughs> nice. Two. Oh, I've sussed that how they make them balls come back now. Still two. Seven seconds to go. Six seconds. Three. <laughs> Joe Johnson scores three. <laughs> A three there. OK, then, Elizabeth, are you ready? No. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. They're all right. They're right. They're right. You won't need any help like some other people. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, then. What is... Abs hang on. Ascorbic acid, better known as. Ascorbic acid. <laughs> Salt. What? Salt. <laughs> Salt. You're as bad as him. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually vitamin C, so uh, we can't give you that one, but you get the next two, honest. It makes it a bit even there. Right, which two words that sound the same answer these clues? What Oliver Twist wanted, a clip around the ear roll, da -da -da. <laughs> and the actor, Roger... Moore. Moore. Yes. Can I have some more? More? <laughs> Which Greek god is a canal backwards? Who writes these? <laughs> Isis, Zeus, or Apollo? Zeus. Zeus. It is called Suez. <laughs> there you go. OK, Stephen, you've got 30 seconds to beat Joel's three. Nice break. None. Is that good? It is a good break. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Terry Griffiths right. could get three here in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> pressure on me now. <laughs> Stephen, the clock will start the next time you strike the cue ball. <laughs> That's you off the mark there, the old Scottish team. Off where of Scotland. Good positional we play that you see, Jim. Two. Your legs again. Uh oh. Three. <laughs> oh, he's overrun that little bit. Seven seconds. Mm. We're doomed. Four. Four. There's a four. You've got four seconds left. Three seconds, Steve. Two. Hit something. Quick. <laughs> Be a loser, Mark, and I knew yes. it'd be you right from the start. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a feeling that way as well. <laughs> Joe, smashing. You enjoy the game? Yeah, very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we've enjoyed seeing you, Dan. It's always a pleasure to see you. Mark, stick with us. We've got a little chance for you to win a consolation prize as we set up for Virgo's Trick Shop. <laughs> Mark, this is where John sets up the funny old trick shot. All you've got to do is complete it the same way as John does, <laughs> even if he gets it wrong. You just do it the same. I'm sure I can OK, win. and uh, you'll win a nice little consolation prize. OK, John? <laughs> oh, sorry, my name's Willie. Uh, John... <laughs> I'm just trying to find a winner in this paper here, Jim. Yeah, Willie Thorne. Well, yeah. uh, do you want me to play the trick shot? Yes, please, with not too okay. much trouble. Well, this Willie's... is probably a pro run, because it's a bit of a gamble whether you get this or not. Hello, Mark. How are you? Hello. Oh, this is me again. How are you? <laughs> OK, Mark. Well, to play this shot, what we've got to do, we're going to try and pot the black 
in the centre pocket. And the way it works, it will run up the cues, hit the back of the pocket, down the two cues together, and into this centre pocket. Good luck, Willie. is ruin that good trick shot like Willie Thorne just did <laughs> and you can win this wonderful prize. And for the trick shot tonight, Jim, our winner can see into the future with this powerful pair of binoculars. It could be worse. You could have come all the way from Bradford, trains, planes and automobiles, left at 8 o'clock this morning to get three reds, couldn't you? <laughs> Someone we know quite nearby. <laughs> all right, then, Mark, off you go. Go and see Uncle Fern. <coughs> all right, Willie. <laughs> oh, thank you. Best of luck. <laughs> what you've got to do, just hit the red. Don't hit the black too hard. And it'll come up the queues, hit the back of the pocket, round the queues, into it. That's no what problem. it's going to do. Yeah. Of course it is. And thank with you. the binoculars, you'll be able to go to the races, <laughs> won't you? In front of it. <clears throat> Don't hit it too hard. That's perfect. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I, like I like it. That. I like it. I love it. It's off the... I love it! Oh. Watch this. Technology at work. OK, boys? <laughs> Excellent. OK, then. This is where we change the old points into power notes. So come down the front, boys and girls. We'll sort out the rats in order. John, do you want to toss a little coin up in the air? Certainly, Jim. Jill, give us a shout. Heads, please. It is a heads, Jill. Can we go second, please? Second? Oh. OK, then, Elizabeth. Down to you, then. Pocket money. Now, what you've got to do... See you later. What you have to do, right, Steve's going to pop all them balls, aren't you? Well, I'll try. In one minute, 30 seconds. Ha, 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 ha. But every time you miss one, which you won't really, but every time you do miss one, I'm going to ask you a question, Elizabeth, OK? And when you get it right, he can carry on then. OK? So if he misses a red one, though, we go pot luck. It's that type of question. Misses a brown one, places. Green, music. Yellow, thing. Come on, lads, <laughs> press them buttons. <laughs> OK, so you understand. You've got to do the whole lot. That's questions, answers and all the potting in one minute, 30 seconds. Tell them what they can win, John Boy. Plenty Wonga. <laughs> <laughs> that's money, Elizabeth. Mm. Plenty Wonga. OK, then. John, let's tell us the plenty Wonga. What's the rules? OK, Stephen. Well, there's six reds, six colours on the table. As you can see, it's got numbers on. That's the value in pounds. But, for example, if you were to pot the blue ball, which is valued at £50, into the blue pocket, which is indicated by the blue ball on the screen, then that would become £100. But remember, if you miss a shot, you must wait for Jim to say, OK, play. Make your break. Ooh, bad break. Is it? Ooh, yeah. could be a tricky one, Elizabeth. Don't forget, if you don't know the answer, just say snookered and we'll find something easier to talk about. OK, John, yeah. down to you. OK, Stephen, the time will start next time you strike the cue ball. <coughs> Miss Red. Name Elvis Presley's mansion. Christmas. Correct. Play. Miss Red. Oh dear. Florence Nightingale appears on which UK banknote? Ten pound note. Correct. Play. Ten pounds. Oh, Miss Pink. A double pink there. At which Olympics did Torval and Dean win gold? Was it 1980 or 1984? 84. Correct. Play. Miss Red. Oh dear. Is the sternum known as the chest or the thigh bone? Chest bone. Correct. Play. Miss Red. Oh. 
In bingo, which two-figure number is called legs? Eleven. Correct. Play. Oh, that's um. Miss Blue. What type of farmer was President <clears throat> Jimmy Carter? <clears throat> Peanuts. Peanuts, correct play. Ten pounds. <laughs> That's two seconds to go. <laughs> Stephen Henry scores thirty pounds. Thirty. <laughs> Thirty pounds. See if the balls don't drop right. You've sort of snookered. Oh, snookered. All right, well, Scotland there. We're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. Round of applause for Elizabeth and Stephen there, ladies and gentlemen. The blue team. <laughs> Come on, Jill. Go on, Mike. Take the table. Okay, Mike. If you make the break. OK, Mike, well, there's quite a lot to beat here. £30. <laughs> <laughs> time starts next time you strike the cue ball. £10. £80. <laughs> Miss Red. Oh. <clears throat> is Concorde or 737 the fastest passenger plane? Yes. Oh, Concorde. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I... Ten pounds. Remember, all this money goes to Jill, you know, so let, let's get her some money. OK, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ninety. Oh, One hundred and sixty. Oh, excellent. Making a total of two hundred and forty so far. Mm. Ten pound. Extra. Going for the old pink to pink. Yes, another sixty. Oh. That makes three hundred and ten pounds so far. Got to be a wealthy woman, Jill. And you're not even divorced yet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> Do giant pandas eat shoots or fruits? Shoots. Correct. Play. Ten pound. Ten seconds to go. Three hundred and twenty pounds so far. This girl will be in love with you. <laughs> Went for a double blue. Oh, 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 oh. Is it Mike oh. Collins scores three hundred and twenty pounds. They're doomed. <laughs> we're doomed. We only got three balls down, and we're doomed. Oh, you all that weight in Scotland, both eyes. Oh, it's hard, though, isn't it? It is. A it stuff. is. A, the main thing is, have you enjoyed yourself, Elizabeth? Totally, thank you. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, a little kissy poop. Oh, don't forget, you've got thirty quid to take home between you. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to give him fifteen because we, you know, the funny old. <laughs> but you're going to take home a snooker cue as well, and the big break. Funny thing, a little <laughs> big break trophy and a snooker cue, because everyone gets one. So, give her a nice big clap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> OK, then. Right, Mike, can you break the balls up before we explain the old game here? This is the finale, the big one, Jill. If you pardon the expression. <laughs> <laughs> Right, now, what would make it easier, Jill, if Mike had less balls to pot, obviously. So what I'm going to do is ask you five questions. For every question you get correct, Mike can remove any red ball of his choice. That's a maximum of five, so you can take five balls off. That'd sort you out, wouldn't it, mate? Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. You've got one minute thirty to do the whole lot. Yep. And you can win these wonderful, fabby prizes. Any reds left tonight, Jim, and our winner can enjoy this vintage port with their Stilton. Off the yellow, they can also prepare for the snow with a series of dry ski lessons. Or remove the green to give a sparkle to the washing up with this compact tabletop dishwasher. Enjoy the freedom of a mobile telephone plus one year's rental for downing the brown. While a state-of-the-art colour television complete with teletext and matching video player is the prize for potting the blue. 
sink the pink to enter the high-tech age with this computer complete with printer. And finally, pop the black for tonight's exotic mystery, Star Bride. <laughs> Twenty-five questions. Don't forget, say snooker. Don't hang around if you don't know. It's best to get it wrong quickly. <laughs> no, right, so you're going to get more right. I've got great faith in you. All right, Mike, we're going to do our best up here for you, mate. OK, Jill, nice and steady. Time starts now. What was Pinocchio made of? Wood. Correct. Which number is represented by the Roman numeral X? Ten. Correct. What colour is smoked salmon? Smoked pink. That'll do. Fine. According to the rhyme, who kissed the girls and made them cry? Quick. Georgie it. Porgy. Americans call it a sidewalk, we call it what? Pavement. Correct, stop the clock. <laughs> Come on up. Oh, well, what's that for, would not it? She's given him a chance, I think. OK, Mike, let's He's see what we're going to take well. off. Obviously, you want Must be in this one. a bit confident now, got his own back from Stephen after the dental and edges. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'll do, I'll... Carry the rest round with me, in case you need it. Save time. You've got one minute and seven seconds to clear the table. Normal snooker rules, after you've potted a red, you must go for a colour. And then, obviously, when the reds have gone, it's the colours in sequence. Wish you the best of luck, Mike. Good luck, Mike. Great. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Just overscrewed the cue ball. Get in. That's good it. Shot. When you're on the prize with that vintage point in Stilton. That's great. You want to come back to this yellow? Good shot. 33 seconds left, Mike. You can do this. Great shot. Come on, move it now. Okay, this is for a tabletop dishwasher. Go on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Doing well. Go on, Mike. Back for this blue. Come on, Mike. Blue. Eight seconds. Yeah. Back for the pink. Back for the pink. Stop white. Just pop the pink then, be certain. You've got vintage port and you've got a colour TV and video and all that stuff, and I'm having an heart attack here. <laughs> okay, then, don't forget to thank our wonderful celebrity guests up there Joe and Stephen and Elizabeth and Mark. Well done. Thank you, John. Good night. Oh, really cool, is it? <laughs> <laughs>